Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sai. I'm the, uh, I'm the uh, founder and CEO of a startup, New York-based music startup called Jukebox.io. And today, I'm going to talk about personalizing the music experiences. And to give you a little bit of context around my background, I, uh, I have a master's in computer science, and then I worked with the uh, Disney Interactive Media Group, and then I worked in the travel space. And one thing that was common in all my previous backgrounds was music used to play in all these uh, workplaces 24-7. And everyone used to fight whose music experience is going to come next. And I think to understand really the concept of uh, the personalizing the music experiences, I'm going to walk you th over three different concepts. Music as an experience, and personalization, and millennials. I know there are three different distinct topics, uh, but I can assure you that by the end of the talk, I, I hope you guys actually take away some of the uh, key learnings. And, uh, some philosophers really believe music is one of the key ingredients what makes us human and separate from low-grade animals. So I think music plays a very important and crucial aspect of our lives. And when you think about the music as an experience, it, it takes the front seat in some situations and the back seat in some others, like uh, music concerts, live events, or the road trips. Or uh, where it takes the back seat is the uh, bars, restaurants, or all the other fields. And if you think about the music ecosystem, I consider this into four different quadrants, like uh, personal versus venue-based, which is the out-of-home music, uh, and venue-based, I mean, interactive versus non-interactive. And when you think about the personal interactive space, this is where all the music services that we, day, on a day-to-day -day basis, that we use fall under. And when you think about these music services, one size fits all, it doesn't fit anymore. And we need something else to actually curate the music for us, and also bring some really cool experiences into our lives. So one of the things, and uh, the study in the Texas University showed that there are two main crucial elements in the uh, field of music that actually drives personalization. One is desire to control and uh, information overload. And to solve these two issues, one way or the other, the, all the music services that I've shown uh, in the previous slide, they're working one way or the other in the uh, different forms. So Irene said the only song that is more important than the song that you're listening to is the next one that, that's going to play in your uh, earbuds or in the public experiences. And all these music services, is act the, what they are doing is basically to curate what the next song is going to listen in any public experiences. And the third concept is millennials. And there are 83.1 million millennials in US, and it constitutes more than 25%. And Interesting fact is more than 83% of these millennials are going to go to the concert in the next 12 months. And if you think about an interesting stat, the recent iHeartRadio Music Festival has 6.5 billion social say, uh, shares across social media. And 60% of those shares actually came from millennials. So there is a huge phenomena going on with millennials. Million is a term that is loo loosely used, but only few people could understand it. And to solve, to combine these concepts, to give a personalized music experience, which involves millennials into the picture, we actually created a service called Jukebox Hire. We believe in giving people control over the music they listen to in any social setting with a simple touch. And the way that we do it is by providing an interactive music for venues where they can create new and exciting ways to interact with the music. And we, we actually do that by making it really easy for venues to host a jukebox and pe patrons to play their favorite songs right from their smartphones. And it's pretty simple. For we, we have two different apps, one for the venue and one for the uh, members, where venues actually create the jukebox, set their trace profile, play the music, and they can actually curate the music around it. And as far as the members, you actually walk in, you see all the jukebox-enabled venues around, and you pick the venue that you are in, you pick the music that you like, either search or discover, and then queue up the songs. What this does is actually provide, puts the power. When we actually released this product as an alpha, there, there is an interesting thing that happened. The venues started loving it. And basically, the, if you look at the uh, feedback that we got from venues and also the wide variety of venues that we're working with, it's, uh, we, we are really proud to have those partners in. And from uh, phonograms to radios and uh, from... Walkmans to MP3 players, from torrents to streaming services. Even though the, the way that we consume the music has changed, the thing that has remained the same is actually consuming the music itself. The experiences 
And people nowadays are actually focusing more on experiences rather than just listening to the music. And today I'm going to actually leave with one thought. Even though it's, uh, we, we as an industry, music industry, has you know, gone through a lot of evolutions of uh, different periods. But one thing remained the same is creating more and new exciting experiences for the people to continue strive in the music industry. Again, I'm Sai from Jukebox.io. I would love to have a conversation with you all. Thank you. Thank you.